So recently we talked about how Amber Rose came out as a Trump supporter and TMZ paparazzi were following her and they were like, hey, Amber, what about the slut walk? Like you used to be this raging feminist and now you're a Trump supporter. What's going on? Um, I thought that was cool that she responded to them by saying, you know, I wanted to help women uh, who were survivors of domestic abuse and stuff like that, but I didn't ever need to do a slut walk to help women. Um, so essentially she's pivoted and come out with her MAGA hat and everything. And now she's speaking at the RNC. That's at least the rumor has it that Amber yeah. Rose is set to speak at the RNC. Um, that's what in a few days so, so from I, now I have a we'll find out if it's true i have a question is this a sign of the the tides turning or is it just a sign that look we'll we the gop will just we will let anyone in here be, if it, we think it gives us credibility i don't think that it's about credibility mm -hmm. i think that it's about votes um mm -hmm. and i think that it is as much as there are people that have religious convictions mm -hmm. in the gop religious convictions do not currently run the GOP. And the reason is because the left has essentially pushed so many people out, mm. the, they have, they're left mm -hmm. with nowhere else to go. Now, I understand that there are a lot of people that say you can't have uh, conservatism unless you have a religious foundation and you can't have conservatism uh, without, you know, without, there are people that are constantly in my mention saying you can't have conservatism without Christ. And, mm. I, being an agnostic, mm -hmm. say, I'm going to vote for whoever the hell I want to vote for. So yeah. up yours. But it's not a good idea to exclude people. So there's a lot of people that are like, oh, you know, the GOP has to be pro-life and, and has to be this way. And it's like, you can be pro-life, but the GOP doesn't have to. The GOP needs to have the power to enact legislation. Yeah. And if you're kicking people out because they don't, currently align with you, then you will not have access to that power to institute the policies that you want. So whether or not these are things that the that everybody in the GOP agrees with, mm -hmm. like Amber Rose or whatever, they should welcome their votes yes. and then continue to behave as the way that they want to. Like the GOP has their platform. Everybody that votes for them is aware of what the GOP is 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 looking for stop trying to push people away allow them to come in and continue with the conservative policies that you're after but you're not going to get the power to to institute any policy if you if you push people out that would otherwise vote for the Republicans. Maybe it was actually Amber Rose who brought in Project 2025. She wrote it. No. She wrote it. Um, she is the, that. Like, she is the heritage as a, as a as a you know a, a religious conservative what what would you what do you think of that perspective uh look i don't think highly of the republican party platform uh, they just released a new one which decidedly left out any mention of traditional marriage um i understand that re the religious right is receding and less relevant than it used to be for sure but including people and saying like you know it's a big tent movement doesn't mean you have to make them into spokespeople and that was kind of my, my point was more like anytime some celebrity shifts and says, I am now uh, going to support Trump, they, they run, they, out always, of the, they go out of their way to then push them to the front of the, yeah. their conventions and their events. And it just it's never kind seems, of clownish. And yeah. it's it's like, I don't know, it's just, you know, simping for any kind of mainstream approval from yeah. the mainstream. And it speaks to. Not how Amber Rose really changed her mind about anything, but how Trump has changed in the public perspective, that he is this mainstream. Mm -hmm. Like, he's not the Trump of 2016. He's not even the Trump of 2020. Um, that's, I mean, I love Trump, but he's kind of a sellout. Like, um, that's I mean, just, that's why he can appeal to someone like Amber Rose is he because he's his entire life he was up until he ran for president he was a new york democrat so i'm not sure that i agree that he's a sellout in 2016 he was like we're banning muslims <laughs> we're well, deporting millions of people okay well, you still, know what i mean he still intends to deport millions of people uh, whether that's going to happen is a, but still is, a question this is, but this, this is this happens to all presidents though presidents will say yes. we want to do this and then can they get the policies yeah. that they I just, want passed? i don't understand why why Amber Rose would be speaking at the RNC. Like, why are they making her into a spokesperson? I'm not against people changing their views and, 
even being public about changing maybe, their views. Or but maybe even leave it to social media. Leave and, it to, yeah, like yeah. leave it to social media and you don't need to trot this person out on a stage in front of people who don't even know who she is, yeah. most likely. It's just, it, it's kind of clownish to me. And recently she appeared in a music video with a rapper named Forgi Forgiato Blow. I don't know, I've never heard of him. Uh, the song is called Trump Trump Baby to the beat of uh, Vanilla Ice's song, obviously. And we're gonna show a clip of it. It's- um, I mean, of course it's cringe. It's really cringe. It's so brace yourselves. When, when Mary was playing it, I kind of wilted and, and fell into it. It wasn't as bad as 80 million votes my ass. No. It was no. not as bad as I that. I don't know if there's much worse than that. But, but here we go. Hey, yeah. It's the mayor Magaville, baby. Hey, you know who we voting for? We voting Donald Trump, baby. America needs saving. America needs saving. We voted Trump, Trump, baby. November 5th, we going crazy. November this is January 6th. Red pill poppin', swervin' in the Trump Swerve. trunk. Republican 4G and chief of knows what's up. Red, white, and blue, MAGA nation, throw it up. Black, white, and brown, all oh, but I'm over Trump. Democrat party gon' take your freedom. Indicting our president cause they can't beat it. Two-tier justice sis. Two -tier. Put America first, we the big, we the big. FJB, FJB. FJB, FJB. I have to stop. I'm sorry. FJB, I, can't, I can't do anymore. I can't do anymore. Okay. You get the gist get of the it, gist. though. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. Look, it's... I personally, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a conservative. <laughs> I'm straight up anti communist. That's my entire, like, I'm a counter revolutionary, and I believe that there are a, there is a significant effort in the United States to change the fundamental principles that our government is, is uh, the framework of our government. So I will vote for whoever is not a Democrat because the Democrats have been compromised by the, by subversive ideologies. Yeah. That's all there is to it. But to claim that Republicans, including Trump, also haven't been compromised, that's, I mean, that's not true either. I mean, every, every politician is compromised. When you say compromised, what do you mean? And by who? Because that matters. Special interest groups. Special interest groups. I mean, not. Donald Trump is going broke right now. I know that sounds ridiculous because he's a billionaire, but he needs funding. And mm. we're not even going to get that deep into it because this is pop culture crisis. The and point was the music video. The point was yeah. Amber Rose is now an is official there, um, spokesperson for Trump. Is this like their is this like their version of when they did the the covid shot? Skit, uh, sketch with like the big syringes on like the late night show. Who was that? Was that Fallon? Uh, I don't. It was the cringiest thing I'd ever seen in my entire life when they were when they were running all of the propaganda. It's it's the rights version of the Imagine music video with all the celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I just I can't. It's. But As we said before, the right can't arch. It, uh, no, the, here's the thing. The, it's when you do it in under the guise of political art. I just can't. I, I can't care about anything that's that directly. Now, television certainly gets into it. C television and movies... Um, include political themes in a lot of their stuff, but when it's done as the secondary theme, it's a hell of a lot easier to take than when it's the whole point of it. For instance, I can watch a movie with a director's politics in it, but I'm not going to watch movies based on politics. Sure. I don't have any interest in documentaries about politics. I don't have any interest in movie, like uh, other than maybe like Wag the Dog. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. back in the, like uh, other, like I just don't. Uh, I feel like the average Hollywood artist is better at suppressing that when they're just trying to include it a little bit in a regular movie. But if you give them the go ahead to just make something based on that, you end up with really, really cringy stuff either way. So it's not fun when the left does it. It's not fun when the right does it. Just no, <laughs> just, just no. Like whatever that was, what we should start doing is we should start keeping like a list of like the worst um, you, you know, the, the worst political music and art made by both sides. Yeah. But people get mad when we talk about the cringy parts of the, the right I know, wing. And I know. Well, we'll do it anyway. I guess we'll just never, tr we'll be truly politically homeless. <laughs> and there's then. a, there's another thing to look forward to because Trump recently challenged Biden to a golf match. And he says that he will give $1 million to a charity. I if he a charity loses. it would be. 
What charity do you think he would? That's the to? question, isn't it? Alzheimer's research. Yeah. Parkinson's. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely. Uh, I would love to see that. He I, said, "I'm officially challenging Crooked Joe to an 18-hole golf match right here on Doral's Blue Monster, considered one of the greatest tournament golf courses anywhere in the world, one of the great courses of the world." I had no idea you had a Trump. <laughs> Everyone does. It will be I among really the most don't. watched sporting events in history. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.